I have just resolved my merge conflicts. I've tested my application. It works. I am ready to push it, push my changes to GitHub, submit a pull request for review, and merge my changes to the main branch. Let's, let's see how we can do that. I'm still working with the example forked React repo. This is on my own. This is my own repo on my own repository, Kai Rocket. And if I check my branches, I have the same branches that I had in the previous video, main and my feature. And I'm ready to merge my feature to main through GitHub. So what I'll do now, I've, I've resolved the merge conflict. So I now have this hello world, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I am going to push these changes from my feature branch to the feature branch on GitHub. So I, I should see a lot of branches here, but I should see my feature, if I just search for it, my feature, right? This is on my local repo. It's not in the official React repo, but I've created a my feature branch, right? So let me go and push that, git push. All right, so this should push the feature branch from my local repository to the feature branch on my GitHub, okay? So it seems like it's done. Now, when I, when I refresh this, when I refresh my GitHub, it should give me a, a box here, a notification. My feature had recent pushes less than a minute ago. Okay, compare and pull request. So then I can go click this big button here. And what it will do is it will, it will uh, bring me to a form where I can describe information about my pull request and Facebook, and for React specifically, they have this default message, right? For now, uh, you know, they, they do this so that for people who want to contribute, they can easily right, answer the questions they need to answer. I'm just going to delete this for now. I'm going to say created my new file, right? And uh, create pull request. Note that this is still, oh, okay. And by default, it wants me to send a pull request from my repo into Facebook, but I actually don't want to submit it to Facebook because this is just for my own. This is for my own, uh, for my own use. So I'm just going to merge my feature branch into the main branch on my own repo, not Facebook's official repo. Okay. So I'm going to merge my feature, create my new file, create pull request, right? And I click it. Okay. So what I see now is the pull request window. And the pull request window looks like this. We can access it anytime through the pull requests tab on the repo. And here I can see all the commits. I can see the history of the, I can see history of the, of this pull request and this branch. Once I'm ready to merge it, I can click merge pull request here, which will just essentially do, do a merge, do a git merge from this source branch, my feature to the target branch, which is the main branch. Uh, but I'm not going to do that just yet. What I want to show everyone, what I want to show you is how I can actually comment, right? So these are the, these are the changes between what's currently on main and what's on my feature branch. Uh, I, I want to leave a comment here. Let's imagine I'm a reviewer, my peer, right? I realize that, okay, some syntax is not right. Uh, we are missing the digit zero, right? Maybe, maybe I needed a zero there. Okay. So what I will do then I will start I can uh, start a review. All right, so let's say I'm up here uh, and I can, I can finish my review by leaving and, I, and, uh, and uh, I can leave a comment here, right? So looks good to me, uh, just add the zero. And I can submit the review. So if I'm up here, now the person who wrote, who created this PR now gets a notification saying Kai left a comment on my pull request and uh, so assuming all is good, let's say, and then, so now, okay, I guess if I wanted to address that comment, I can go back to my code. I know that I need to add a zero. So let me just add a zero here. I will save it, get status, all right? Uh, if I, and, 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 and now that I know that I have that change, I want to add it and commit it. So get add my new file, get commit dash M added zero, get status. Okay. And I can get push it again. When I git push the second time, or when I git push again, the pull request will automatically update. Okay, so, so here we can see uh, I added a zero. I don't know if it refreshes on demand. I might need to, I might need to refresh. So let me refresh this page. 
Okay, where is the history? Reviewed one minute ago. Ah, I can see my new commit. I added the zero here. Okay, so if I go back to the files changed, I can see that I've addressed it at the zero. My reviewer told me it was okay. So now I'm going to go and merge this pull request, the big merge button. Okay, and generally we want to use the default option, not any of the others. I will merge. And it asked me to confirm because merge is a serious operation. It can, can mess things up on main for other people if we're not careful. I will confirm this merge. All right. It is successfully merged and closed. And now if I go, okay, so I've closed this pull request. I go back to the code. If I go to the main branch and I look for my file, my new file, I can see the latest commit has the added zero. That looks good. And if I go into it, I will see the code that I have merged to the main branch. And that is how we create, comment on, and merge a pull request.